Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials, I am KoinCGZ and in this video we are going to do some more battles in the Monster Grand Prix. So uh, I believe I may have gone over uh, some of the uh, battles before but I'm going to be using a new team. So this is a new setup that I have here. So my uh, golem is still going to be the same, I'm still going to be using Macbeth but I'm going to be using a hell battler a killer machine and I'm going to be using a hawk blizzard for this particular battle so I want to actually go over them really quick so uh, first one I'm going to go over is going to be uh, let's see I have actually already gone over uh, Macbeth already so I first want to go over let's see right here I'm going to go over my Hell Battler right here. So this is the one that I'm using. So it's going to actually be a special uh, grade. So in terms of quality, and it's going to be Chikarajiman, so it's just going to be boastful. So um, this is going to actually have some pretty good uh, stats. So 1008 uh, HP, 294 uh, max MP. So it's regular attack is going to be 524. And then also it's... Uh, magical attack is going to be 489 so that's actually not so bad so here in terms of the skills um, this is actually going to have uh, Iona Zune so that's actually a very powerful attack then uh, one that I actually did add to it was going to be Soul Flare which is another EO based attack so that's actually going to work out quite well then I also added Mahotora which uh, takes MP from uh, enemies and uh, gives it to himself so this is actually going to be pretty good. The Hagashi Otekibi, which is Fierce War, actually does work out pretty well. So um, if you look here, I'm going to have 39% uh, chance of doing single attacks, 39% chance of doing attacks to all enemies, and a 22% chance of doing um, debuffs. So that's actually going to be pretty good. So I'm really happy that I actually have this particular uh, character. So then next, um, what I'm going to have is I'm going to actually have Killer Machine. So um, before I was using uh, this Killer Machine before, which was a uh, Kirimono. So that was pretty much shrewd. But um, I actually got a Nukamega Nai one, and that's actually a balance type character or a balance type uh, quality. So this is actually going to be really good. So um, I actually do have more HP with this and the attack power is actually a lot better. Pretty much all the stats are better. So with this, I'm actually going to have, let's see, uh, the uh, Freezing Rampage, which is very similar to uh, the stats for well not the stats but the attack for uh the yasha rod so that's actually going to be work out quite well then i'm going to actually have an all enemy attack uh skill so that's going to be send skyten uh, giri which is pretty much like a flash swing so that's going to attack all enemies and sometimes i actually do get a crit with that and then also with the special ability of the uh, killer machine, I uh, I can actually do this particular uh, attack twice. So I'm really looking forward to um, this particular uh, battle coming up. Then uh, last, I'm going to have the Hawk Blizzard. So that's going to be a bird type enemy. So that's going to be right here. So uh, with Hawk Blizzard, uh, Hawk Blizzard is pretty much going to be here for uh, healing so it's going to be kire mono um, so going to be shrewd but um, in terms of its uh, healing abilities um, it's going to be able to do um, when uh, the HP of my characters are under 50% it'll use uh, healing abilities so uh, the best uh, personality to actually use for this is actually going to be uh, Osekai which is meddlesome um, in that case uh, when uh, my character's HP is below 80% um, it'll use uh, healing spells but um, I should be able to uh, 
get some pretty good healing with this. Um, for my golem, you've already seen that before, so I won't go into that, but I want to get right into these battles. So, um, I actually have moved up in the ranks, so, um, things are actually going pretty well, especially, uh, when I added, uh, this particular, uh, killer machine. So, uh, first I'm going to actually start with the battle. So, in this particular, uh, rank, I'm actually veteran, rank 1, so, um, I get 100 points for uh, completing a battle or winning a battle, but I lose 40 if I lose. But uh, here we go. So let's see who I'm going to face. So this particular one, um, yep, they're going to actually have a tank so and good healer. So uh, this could be a challenging one. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get through this. But uh, let's check it out. So speed it up. All right, so starting off with tech. There's a freezing rampage right there. There goes a heal. Okay, there's Fierce Roar. So it looks like that was a def uh, defensive buff right there. Going to round two. To attack. So probably, okay, there goes the uh, Flash Swing. Okay, good healing with right there. With Black Hawk Wizard. Though his Hawk Wizard actually heals a bit more. There goes the Yonazune. So it looks like a lot of them uh, could be resistant to Yonazune. Okay, so I got his uh, Killer Panther down, and then there goes uh, my second attack there. Though uh, my Killer Machine is now down, but um, it did it did a pretty good job um, getting these guys down as much as it did. And, ooh, yes, I got his healer down, so um, things are actually looking up. So hopefully uh, my healer goes, yes. Okay, good. Let's see what happens here. So Mahotora, so I took uh, 30 MP from uh, their tank. So I really want to take down that uh, killer machine. Um, that's probably going to be the biggest threat uh, among the last two of these left. There goes Ionazun, and yes, I got him down. So with that said, um, this battle is pretty much in the bag. Uh, I don't think that uh, the Wandering Armor can actually do any uh, damage uh, to me. Uh, that's actually going to actually cause him to win. But uh, even if time runs out, I would still win this particular matchup. So pretty much it's just all a matter of waiting for him to actually go down or until uh, the battle finishes. So it looks like, in this case, it looks like I'm going to be waiting until the battle actually finishes. Depending on uh, the actual attacks that happen next. But could possibly uh, go down uh, actually this turn. Depends on what uh, my hell battler does next. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there goes uh, one win that I have. So yeah, um, that was actually somewhat close in the beginning, but um, I was actually able to pull through. Okay, so I want to do another battle, so possibly, um, I guess I'll probably do maybe three battles. Uh, we'll see what happens. I want to actually get up to the next rank, so this is going to be somewhat similar. Um, I'm going to again have a Wandering Armor as a tank, 
I'm going to have a Killer Panther as well, and then the Laughing Bag is going to be a healer, so um, that's actually going to be uh, a bit uh, troublesome, possibly. But um, also the Hawkman can actually be a bit troublesome as well, but hopefully I'll be able to get through this as well. But here we go with the battle. And speed things up. Okay, so ooh, so that um, the Killer Panther has uh, Ikinari Baishion, which is uh, Sudden Baishion, so it casts Baishion on itself. Um, that's one reason why I don't like Hawk Blizzard too much, because it actually uses Dark Breath. That's actually very strong. Uh, but um, the Killer Panther is almost down, so hopefully I'll be able to get him down. Uh, again, he used Baishion. Okay, but hopefully, ah, uh, yes, oh, wow, I got the Killer Panther and also the Laughing Bag down. So, yeah, possibly, most likely this uh, battle is pretty, well, yeah, with that, um, this battle is pretty much over. Definitely, um, could be this round, uh, or maybe not, so since my, uh, Killer Machine actually just, uh, used a uh, buff it. but yeah hopefully um, this next coming round uh, he goes down oh yeah so probably with this next attack probably from my hell battler as long as it's not Mahotara yeah so he goes down there so this team actually really does work out quite well very very well Okay, so again, I want to try another battle, so I have uh, 85 more points to go to the next uh, rank. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's after Veteran, but um, should be, um, yeah, actually I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to start this battle again, so hopefully um, I'll be able to get through this. So let's see what team I'll be facing. So, okay, so, ah, uh, so in this case, uh, again, I'm going to have, I'm going to actually have a golem as a tank, I'm going to have a troll as a heavy hitter, so trolls are actually very good heavy hitters, especially if they're uh, Chikarijima, so boastful, so um, I need to be careful of that, but since I have the golem right there in the uh, leftmost position all my single attacks are going to be focused on him i got a killer machine here too and i got an onion man as a healer so uh hopefully things do go well with this battle and gonna fast forward let's see what happens this first turn there goes weapon break Uh, okay, Mahotora. There goes Hoimi, Onion Man on himself. Okay, so um, that's pretty much the same type of attack that my uh, killer machine has right there. So there goes the Flame Breath attack. Alright, so good, some healing right there. Okay, so their healer is actually not as good as mine. Here goes the Onazune, so that's actually really good. So hopefully uh, next turn as well, um, I can actually get the Onazune. Um, that will most likely take out the troll since it's actually weak to EO based attacks. Oh, nope, I used uh, Great Defense. Okay, good. So now the troll is out, so good. So that's pretty much the heaviest hitter that they have that that uh, group had. 
So now that it's out, I'm pretty sure that I actually have this particular match. But uh, let's see what happens next. So um, with my, let's see, Mahotora. So Mahotora um, is actually, it actually can be a blessing in disguise because it takes away um, the other character's MP. So they won't be able to use specific skills. And then again, ah, oh, my healer is down. So, um, but I think I should be able to still win this. There goes Jibarika. Yeah, I still should be able to win this, I believe. Yep, so there goes their golem. So now just the killer machine and the onion man left. Soul flare. Yep, so uh, onion man's his healing is not that great, but um, still is a healing. But uh, yeah, they have uh, 149, 110 HP left. So yeah, and probably with this last attack from my hell battler. Oh, no, it's Mahotora, which missed. Then God smash and down. So yes, this team, this setup is actually really good. And I actually do go up a rank. So let's see what rank I go up to. So I go up to Elite uh, Rank 3. Okay. And uh, for getting up to Elite Rank 3, I got 300 gems. Nice. Okay, so um, yeah, that was actually uh, three battles that I did with this particular team. Uh, like I said, this team actually works out quite well. Um, pretty much uh, before, I actually was using uh, the other killer machine, which was a, um, a lower quality. And uh, things actually... Um, I was actually not winning as many battles as I thought I should have. But once I got a new killer machine and switched them out, I've been winning quite a bit of battles. So um, this team actually is really good, mainly because of the killer machine that I added in. But uh, yeah, with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.